Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we have a lot of silver, gold, and gemstones that we're gonna test. I have my acid testing kit that will help us determine if things are silver or what carat gold they might be. If you are interested in getting any of those items, I have links down below. I think the link is called Things I Use or something like that. It'll take you to a page that shows you all of the fun things I use to test jewelry. All right, let's get started. These are all pieces that I've set aside from different haul videos that either were marked or not marked or things that I was questioning about their purity levels or perhaps chains that didn't have any jump, not jump rings, but closures so there were no markings, but we can still test it and put it into our scrap pile. Ours, it's mine all. <laughs> first things first, let's separate the silver from the gold. the pieces that I have in the silver pile. Some of them are marked silver, some of them are not, some of them I think are, some of them think I think might be plated or I don't know. We're going to check it all out. First thing I'm going to want to do is put on these gloves because we are dealing with acids here so we don't want to burn our hands or hurt ourselves. So the way I test is I line things up so that I can do a bunch all at once. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I'll just line up a few things on the side of this stone. Maybe I should have done that before I put on gloves, make it a little easier. Say put you. Let's see, we'll do, we'll do those four and then we'll do these next. The first thing I'm testing is this chain. It is marked. It is marked Italy 925, so that should be pretty solid as far as it's going to be silver. However, stamps are cheap. But what I will also do is test one of the charms because I've got some silver colored charms on here as well as some gold ones, but I'm going to test that as well. So I will put that mark first. And I don't see a, a let's see if it's magnetic. No, okay. So I'm going to find a spot that is, I can kind of hide, that's inconspicuous, maybe on the back or on the edge of a piece towards the jump ring. This is towards the back, so there's that. And then let's find part of the chain. I'm going to go towards the end of it. I want to make sure that I get the actual chain because there's a difference. There's this chain and there's this chain, and then there's also the... <clears throat> the clasp. So I'm just going to test the chain on this. So the H was first, then the chain. The next piece that I am going to test is this earring. It was a solo earring in one of the lots I got. And I don't know that I saw a mark on it, but it looks... So there's an M over here and then a 925 over here. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and put this down as well, just so you can see what silver is going to look like. Something else to note, as if you do this at home, once you've done it a little bit um, more frequently, you'll start noticing a difference in the color of the scratch marks. So this H is clearly a different color of these two, so that might be an indicator that it's not actually going to be silver. Next is this little ring that has, looks like maybe some spiny oyster and some turquoise. I feel like, let's see, was this one not marked? Why did I want to test this? The mark is just kind of rubbed out, like maybe it was sized and kind of stretched. And then here, I've got this chain and I've got the pendant. So I am going to do both. This pendant looks pretty shiny, so it may have rhodium plating on it. It doesn't look, as you can see, the, the chain is pretty tarnished. The pendant is still super duper duper shiny, so it may be just plated. Let's check the uh, magnetism too. And then I want to find a spot maybe on the edge on the back of this pendant so that it's not noticeable. And when we get finished, I'll put this in the pile to test that stone. All right, here we go. 
So I'm using the 18 karat gold because it will make it very, very noticeable on the black stone. If I use the silver acid, it will make the, the streak turn red if it's silver. However, it's not as easy to see. So there are different methods for doing this. I just take it and I just go straight down. And what should happen is if it's silver, it will turn a silvery, I like to think of it like a milky, creamy white, blue color. If it disappears, <laughs> it is not silver. So that one has disappeared. This one you can see, this is the chain that had all of these charms on it. That is silver. Next we had this earring for this line right here. As you can see, it is silver. Then we had our ring which was yeah, this line right here, and that is silver. This is curious. So I had this chain. I may test that again. But look, even the marking for the chain is not similar to the marking, you know, the silver scratches. That chain, which looks really good, it looks tarnished. It was not magnetic. Let's see what it's marked as. It is marked 925, but it is not at all testing as silver. So we're gonna look closer at that. And then this pendant, which is also marked 925, is not testing as silver either. So here's another, it just goes to show that stamps are cheap. You can stamp that, but the acid test is not gonna to lie to you. So if I sold this as a silver necklace, and somebody got it home and tested it, they would be pretty upset if they came to find out they paid for something that was not silver. So I'm gonna set this aside and we'll test it again in just a sec. I wanted to get a little bit closer on this so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Here is this pendant, beautiful, right? On the back. So here you can see it says S925, but the stamp is not very clear. And then on our chain, which appears to be tarnished, it has that, I mean, everything looks like it's on the up and up. And it says 925 on there, but even that, when you look at the 925, it's kind of yellowy looking. The lobster clasp, no, nope, nothing on there. But let's, I'm gonna put this as our first scratch for our next run. Just so we look at it again, make sure I've got actual part of the chain that looks tarnished. Looks like it's tarnished silver. But look, it doesn't even look silver in the scratch. So that's gonna be our first piece, that chain, just as a double check. The next piece I've got here is this mom pendant. And it is marked, I think this is Peru 925. Yeah, Peru 925 down here. Uh, so we are going to, and technically it's two pieces, it's this piece and the bale, I suppose. So we're gonna test that. Why did I put this in my testing pile? Just because I guess it's not magnetic. Just look at the difference in those two. This is another reason that if you're really getting into selling jewelry, it's worth the cost to get the acids to test them because otherwise somebody would have just, I mean, because it to me, it fooled me. It was not magnetic. It is tarnished looking. I thought this was maybe just rhodium plated. Nope, it's not silver at all. All right, so there's that one. This, from what I can remember, was not marked, but I felt like it looked like it might be silver. So we're gonna test the bracelet and the charm. Sometimes too, when you scratch it, it'll make a like really awful sound if it's not. See, that looks pretty good. The bracelet looks good. As far as the color, we're just going off color here. And then the pendant, or the charm, I should say. Next up was this heart. Let's see, I've got four here. Do I have enough space for everything? Oh, maybe we should do these four and come back. No, I'm gonna do one more. Okay, we've got this little heart, probably spiny, spiny oyster shell there. Not marked or stamped, but I feel pretty comfortable that this is silver, so we'll find out. There we go. Okay, so let's take a peek at these. Once again, that first mark is that necklace. Nope. Next up is our mom pendant. Yes, that is silver. Very good. Next is the bangle bracelet. 
portion of this, which I could not find a mark on, but I thought it looked like silver. And it is testing, yes. Then we've got this sweet little pendant. I'm trying to turn it around where you can see it's got these little stones. That is showing up as silver, as well as this heart is also testing as silver. Sweet. I know I'm gonna get the question, so I'm gonna answer it now. The question will probably be, well now what do you do with this? You're gonna sell it and just say it's not actually silver? I mean, the pendant is still pretty. Probably what I'll do with it is I'm gonna put it in a little baggie, right on the baggie that it is marked silver but is not testing as silver, and it might just go into a craft lot because somebody might be able to use the chain. It's not something I'm gonna list. It's not something I would put into a Patreon box. It's pretty enough, I mean the pendant I think is pretty enough to sell, but somebody might be able to use the chain for something else, you know, and may not care that it's not actually silver. So that's probably what I'm going to do with this. Next is this bracelet, which is marked 925. <laughs> it's marked 925 at the top here and on the lobster clasp. It does not feel like silver. Listen, it feels really heavy for its size. Uh, it doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Um, the, the marks on it, it looks really scuffed up. It, I, I don't think it is. So I'm gonna test the chain, the heart. This next piece I don't think is silver. I think at one point it was gold washed. I just thought it was fun, cool piece. Why not? I don't think it's silver, but we're gonna test it. And then this pair of earrings, which has got these beautiful stones. Uh, it is tarnished like silver, it is marked silver, so we're gonna test it. And then we'll put this in our pile to test the stones. Cool, cool. All right. First step, chain. That looks good though. <laughs> All right, next heart. Wow, I may be so wrong. It feels super heavy for its size. I'm okay with being wrong. All right, this one I do not think is silver either. <laughs> it's not marked though. This one feels really tinny. I don't know how it's like aluminum or something. This one feels too light, but it looks good too. <laughs> we'll see. You never know until you get that acid on there. Okay, and then our next one, let me find a good spot. And that one doesn't look good. <laughs> All right, here we go. So you just <laughs> second guess myself. <laughs> it's good to have the testing because then you have proof. You don't have to work off of your instincts because sometimes they're wrong. <laughs> All right, let's zoom in on this. Y'all, are you kidding me? The one that I thought wasn't. So these two are testing out as silver. Okay. The next one, this little earring is testing not silver. And then these earrings, which are tarnished and marked and everything, not silver. Next up, we've got some gold pieces. Some of them are bits of chain that didn't have the jump ring. Some of them are bits of chain that did, that I want to test. Uh, let's just take a look. Let's do the chains. These are the things I'm going to test this time. So I've got a bit of chain here with no markings, so I don't know. I've got this chain that has a marking. This one is saying it's 14 karat gold filled, but I think I also wanted to check the little crown that's on it. This chain did not have any kind of clasp, so I don't know, and it's not marked on the other part. This is marked 14K, and then this was not marked at all. It looks like a little toe ring. So let's get down to business. We got quite a bit here. So that's the chain, but I also want to do the little ball because, all right, chain and ball, the crown, chain and crown. Here comes the next chain that has no mark. So we've got quite an array of colors here. First up, I'm gonna test with the 10K solution to make a mark right down one edge like so. The next line I'm going to draw is with the 14K and then we'll zoom in. And then I am gonna go ahead and draw with the 18K just to show you what happens. And then if that one ends up being silver, we'll talk about it. We can talk about it. There is one there that looks like it might end up being silver. And that's just plated. All right, we're zooming in. Something's in the air, it's congesting me. It's congesting me. First up. We've got the little chain, and it looks like the mark did not disappear for the 10K acid, but it did disappear on the next one over. But then the 18K, 
I wonder if it's plated. That's what I'm thinking. Because the, the 18K acid, it's kind of turned. So I may want to test that one again. The next one is the little ball. I don't know, that's weird because it's still showing up. I wonder if that one is plated as well because it does have a, a slight bit of silver in there. So it might be that it's plated is what's going on with those. The next one was this chain. Oh, let me scoot it over so you can see. Next up was this chain that it's totally gone. It just totally just disappeared. So, and this one is marked gold filled. So that might be what's going on because you can see there's a little bit left here. So I bet that's what's going on with the other chain as well. Next up was the crown. This was for the crown. And look, this the crown is gold in color. Let me scoot it over. So probably what we're seeing here is that this line didn't disappear because it's plated with gold. But this line at the end, you can see that with the 18K silver is really showing up. So it's probably silver, gold over silver. The next line, some of our acids have gotten together. Uh, it totally disappeared. This next chain that didn't have any jump ring on it or any, or not jump ring, <sighs> clasp. So that totally vanished. This one that was 14K, this line is what this one is. So it's still there, but you can see it disappeared for the 18. So this is 14K. And then finally we had this little toe ring and that's at the bottom. And the lines for that one have totally vanished. Cool. Next up, we've got some earrings. These that we got in one of the last boxes, some hoops and some other hoops. This one I'm not, oh, you can't see it. <laughs> this one I'm not so sure about because the post part is silver uh, in color, but we're gonna go ahead and test all these out. So let's make the marks. Let's do this. So on this, I'm just gonna do the 18K, or the 10K and the 14K. I'm not doing the 18K because I don't think any of them are silver. None of the lines are suggesting that. I mean, I guess we could always do the 18K. So, maybe we should. Because basically, what we're looking at, the first earring is this one, and I didn't find a mark on it, but as you can see, it didn't disappear with the 10K or the 14K. So if I put the 18K on it, it will likely disappear. Cause it's, yeah, see how it's disappearing? So that means this earring is 14K. All right, next earring is this little pink one. Once again, it didn't disappear for the first two. So on the 18K, it will probably disappear. Yeah, see, the acid just took it right out. Then were these sweet earrings. Let me scooch this like that. And let's see, is it going to vanish with the 18K? Yep. The next ones, as you can see, the coloring is, is off as far as the gold, it's these little hoops, but the line has vanished for both on that. And then as well as this last earring, it has vanished as well. So these last two earrings, not gold, and then the rest are gold. I would want to test the backing on that earring too. If I were going to sell them, I would want to make sure that the backings were gold as well. Then I've got a little something in a box <laughs> that I thought looked like gold. A little feather charm. Then we had two rings that we're going to test. This is the first ring. I am not sure that it is. But it's a chance. I couldn't find a mark that I can remember on this one. How about the magnet test? Not magnetic. And then this one is that one that looks like maybe a Victorian ring with seed pearls and some stones missing. There were no marks either on that one. Here we go. Let's make our scratches. Let's check these out. All right, looking at our little feather charm. So far, so good. Let's put the 18K drop on the end to see if it 
clears the matter up. Yep. So that little feather is likely 14 karat gold. Next is this ring. The line hasn't disappeared all the way, but it, it's not all the way clear either. Let's see if I put 18K on it, what happens? So I'm not, I wouldn't be comfortable saying that this is for sure 10K because it's kind of going away. I don't know. I'm trying to, I may have to test it again and see if it's plated or something. And then this last little ring, uh, let's put the 18K on it and see what happens. It's very gold looking. This is a deeper, richer gold color than some of the others. So I'm wondering, because the coloring is still a little bit there on the 18K, a little bit. So likely that little vintage ring is 12K. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for checking it out. Make sure you go down there and leave me a comment. Follow me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.